when you think of Thanksgiving, what comes to mind? Scenes like that, family parades, turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce. Don't forget about the pie before slipping into a food coma. And of course, watch the Lions lose on Thursday. That's what celebrating the holiday looks like today, but it wasn't always that way. Here's a look back at how it all began. September 1620, desperate to leave their homeland for the land of the free, 102 religious separatists boarded the Mayflower and made a treacherous 66-day journey across the Atlantic. From Plymouth, England to Plymouth, Massachusetts, they would start a new life. But that first winter proved to be brutal. Only half of them would survive. The rest were left starving, weak, and sick until their first visitor, a Native American who actually greeted them in English. He would famously introduce the pilgrims to Squanto. The English-speaking Native American would act as the settler's guide and interpreter. As a boy, Squanto was kidnapped by an English explorer and sold into slavery in Spain. He escaped, eventually finding his way back home. Not only was Squanto the pilgrim's lifeline, showing them how to survive off their new land, he was instrumental in setting up a peace treaty with a local tribe. The agreement known today as one of the only examples of peace between colonists and Native Americans, both sides honored it for more than 50 years. A year later, Governor William Bradford organized a three-day feast celebrating the pilgrim's first corn harvest, now referred to as the first Thanksgiving. Religious fasting rituals started to take place during the second Thanksgiving. A severe drought nearly took out the crops, which prompted the governor to call for days of fasting and thanking God before the big feast. And it became an annual practice. Fast forward to 1789. George Washington issued the first Thanksgiving proclamation, calling for Americans to show their gratitude for the country's war of independence and the ratification of the Constitution. By the early 1800s, several states were officially adopting an annual Thanksgiving holiday, celebrating on all different days. But during the height of the Civil War in 1863, it was President Lincoln who made it official. Thanksgiving was celebrated on the final Thursday in November every year until 1939, when Franklin D. Roosevelt moved it up for a week to urge retail sales during the Great Depression. The plan, known as Franksgiving, angered Americans. And by 1941, FDR gave in, moving it back to what we now know as today. As Thanksgiving traditions have evolved over the centuries, one thing remains the same, our expression of gratitude. It is the season of Thanksgiving. And after the manner of our pilgrim forefathers, Americans of every background put aside the stern realities of the present hour to count their blessings. And where government of the people, by the people, and for the people is a living thing. Nice, right? How it all began and why we do what we do. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.